Rexy is the cutting-edge writing tool for fiction authors that puts control back in the creative's hands. Today, we're going to look at an overview of Rexy and some of its different functionality to show just how versatile it can be for your writing process. Welcome to the Future Fiction Academy, where we're working to keep authors and creatives informed of the latest AI information so we can work together to further our careers in an AI-friendly environment and put control back in the creative's hands. I'm Stacy, one of the instructors at the Future Fiction Academy, and today we're going to look at an overview of Rexy. Before we jump in, be sure to like and subscribe so you can hear all about our new videos and you won't miss a thing. This is the screen you'll see when you first log into Rexy. In the top left, you'll see your status bar and if Rexy is ready to play. Underneath the home, you can change your AI settings, use different elements such as S slots, N slots, and B slots, select your project, and see your status. And again, if you don't know what all of these mean yet, we'll go into them in depth in later lessons. Under chat is Rexy Chat, where you can have a back and forth discussion similar to what you would do inside of the Chat GPT or the Claude Chat interface. So, if we'd like to know why Tom Hanks is a national treasure, Rexy will let us know. In the prompter, you can bring up pre saved prompts, either from the FFA prompt library or your own personal prompt library. So let's create a premise. We can create an Amish space opera with spaceship barns and laser pitchforks. And Rexy has created us a premise called Fires of Destiny. In Line Editor, we can move the completions or the responses we get from other parts of Rexy into here in order to edit them. So I can add line numbers and give Rexy instructions on what to do. So this way in the premise it gave us, if I want more information on line six, I simply ask it, look at line six and expand that to three paragraphs and it gave me an additional three paragraphs. You'll find throughout Rexy, not only does it automatically save to Notion, but you can prompt it to save to Notion as well. Finally, in WordBagger is where we can sequence prompts. For a brief overview, this is the first prompt that's going to get sent to Rexy. So I can ask it to give me a list of 10 story ideas for a medical procedural thriller. Then it will fill in my answers in the Big Bang box. And then for the second sequence, I can ask it to read the following list of story ideas that it had just created and rate them on a scale of 1 to 10, where 10 is the best, for ideas that would make a fast-paced, character-driven novella that will be the start of a series. And then I can ask it to explain its reasoning. So I'm going to do two bangs, which just means it's going to look at Insta1 and Insta2. So let's take a look. Let's bang. So right now it is creating my list of 10 story ideas. And now that it's finished, first it created a list of 10 story ideas just like we asked it to do in this first box. And then after it created those 10 story ideas, it then rated those same story ideas on a scale of one to 10, just like I asked it to do in the second box. And that's all that sequencing is, is instead of going through prompts one at a time, you ask Rexy to go through a list of them in sequence where you can use the information from the last sequence to feed into the next one. Finally, under the More button, we have a few more options. 
This is our LLM tuner, which you can use to create the files that we used for fine tuning. So that is our overview of Rexy. If you still need help getting set up, be sure to go to the documentation, which will walk you through the setup, including entering your keys, connecting your Notion page step by step. And if you're ready to go, happy writing!